And it looks like first up for the Clemson Tigers will be central defender, the freshman Morgan, Bor uh, Megan Bornkamp. From 12 yards out, as we start the shootout, the freshman slots it home. Camp gives Clemson the lead, and now UCLA has to answer. They answered before, scoring late in regulation. And they will go to the player that scored that equalizer, number 14, Olivia Athens, who scored a rebound, a goal on a rebound in the 87th minute. And she will have to go Up against handcuff, and it's just off her hands, and it slots its way in. Sigh of relief for Bruins fans as we are tied up at one. And now Clemson have to answer in this second round. Trying to get a look at who is stepping up. Again, if you're listed on the game day roster, you are eligible to take a penalty kick. And it looks like it's gonna be number 19, Renee Guion, the junior out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, the lefty who played left back for the Tigers tonight. Up against Brisky. Slots it in on the left side, 2-1 to the Tigers. And now UCLA will look to respond with one of their central midfielders, Aislinn Crowder, the freshman out of Milikani, Hawaii, All-American player, 2019 State Gatorade Player of the Year. Will look to tie things up, up against Handcuff. Crowder one steps, and that's a perfect penalty. Very confident from the freshman. As we are tied up at two. UCLA shot good by number three, Aislinn Crowder. And now Clemson, I believe they are going to go with Caroline Conti, the sophomore out of Greenville, South Carolina, who has seven goals this year two-time South Carolina Player of the Year in high school as Conti steps up and no doubt about it. We're seeing some confident penalties from both of these sides knowing that a quarterfinal spot is in the balance. And it looks like UCLA is going to go to their talisman, Delaney Sheehan. Mac Herman Trophy semifinalist. Looking to propel UCLA and keep them in this tie. Just over the reach of handcuff. And we're tied up at three. UCLA shot good by number 17. And now Clemson will go to their fourth penalty kick taker. So far, Clemson has not missed a penalty in penalty kick shootouts. Remember, they defeated. Rutgers, five to three in PKs. And now McKenna Morris, very good freshman. Playing down that right side, is up against Brisky. Morris steps up, and that's another confident penalty. Four, three, two, the Tigers. And now UCLA goes to their defensive talisman, Lucy Parker, the senior out of Cambridge, England, who has been such a staunch member of this UCLA defense her entire career. Up against Handcuff, 
just past her. Handcuff dove the right way. And we're tied at four. Remember, if we stay tied after this next round of penalties, we go to sudden death. As Clemson goes to Harper White, the sophomore out of Franklin, Tennessee, who did a great job. If you saw the whole match, man marking, specifically Delaney Sheehan, the whole game. Confident penalty. 5-4 to Clemson. And now the Bruins must score to keep the tie alive. As they go to another senior, Marley Canales, out of San Diego, California. The number six on this UCLA team. She must, must score. Very confident from Canales. We are tied at five. And we continue on. Sixth up for Clemson. Number 29, Sammy Meredith, the goal scorer for the Tigers. She scored the first goal of the game in the 53rd minute. Tigers thought it was enough. But we're here in sudden death. And Clemson still putting the pressure on UCLA. Clemson shot by number 29, Sammy Meredith. And now it looks like UCLA is going to number 11. <laughs> Madeline Desiano, who again was on the roster but did not play. Redshirt sophomore out of San Clemente, California. In sudden death. Desiano, yeah. saved by Hancock, and the upset is complete. The Clemson Tigers are moving on to the quarterfinals. And they are the fourth ACC team to reach the Elite Eight. They exact their revenge after losing 5-0 in 2019. They pick up their second consecutive penalty kick win in this NCAA tournament. As the team hounds Hensley Handcuff, the transfer from Villanova. Survive in advance. That's what head coach Eddie Rodwanski put in this team, and they did it. For 110 minutes, they did that against the UCLA Bruins and they pull off the upset. Clemson moves to a record of 12 wins, two draws, and four losses. UCLA finishes its season with 13 wins, three draws, and one loss. The final score here at Wake Med Soccer Park, UCLA won, Clemson won. The Tigers winning 6-5 on penalties and move on to the quarterfinals.